And it's the great pleasure of the Rock Circus to come back and chill with these guys. Have them back on the show. Static X, go Wayne, Tony, Trip, and the new guy, the Nick. Guy. Yeah. Nick. Yeah. Now, didn't I interview you and see there once or something down the street? If we did, dude, I barely remember, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a quick interview. You probably were only in there for like a minute, weren't you? I might have been actually working on stage. I, that's where I spent most of my time. With no, you did the interview. I have the footage. Really? Yeah, yeah really. That was a rare moment. A rare moment. Is that, is that what you guys did? Sort of hoard him out from Seether? Or did you uh, do something else? Like have a friend, a mutual friend? He was a, he was a free agent. Free agent at the time. Now, the new CD is Shadow Zone. It it's kicks ass. It's old CD. Yeah. Uh, the new CD is uh, Beneath Between Beyond. We'll get a copy of the new CD, dude. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They keep sending me videos for this one. I just got a video for so not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, that was the last video we did for this. And our new CD came out July 20th. Really? Damn. Beneath the Queen Beyond. See, didn't even see how it is, man. See how informed I am sometimes. Uh, there, it's not even on your website yet, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I looked, and they just had uh, the no, three. The, the first, uh, when the you get the, the main page, this comes up. Right, when you, when you first log to. on, when you first log on, yeah. I was um, so focused on this. Yeah. Well, there's no videos off this. We're not doing any videos off this. So. Oh really? Yeah. Is this a uh, Warner release or is this mm -hmm. a self release? Yeah, it's Warner. Full Warner release, yeah. and it's not live or anything. No, it's a compilation. It's got some new songs, um, some old songs, uh, some remixes, some cover tunes. Mm -hmm. Who did you have to do the remix on it? On some of the stuff, or were, or were you the master? Of it? Uh, well, we got uh, JB, who's a keyboardist for Fear Factory. Uh, Paul Barker from Ministry. Good dude. Uh, those are the two remixes, yes. And uh, cover songs by the Ramones, Black Sabbath, Ministry, and lots of cool stuff, man. Old Sabbath heads. Did you guys get to check out Ozfest at all this year? Or? I did. Did you? Yeah. These guys took off from uh, Dallas. We had two days off between gigs, and uh, Soil uh, had tickets to Ozfest. So I just rode with them, and I, I went and checked it out, and it was killer. Sabbath rocking again? Yeah, yeah. I'll be there this year, man. You got to go out for the Sabbath, man. You're a big Kiss fan as well. I've seen on your uh, website you have a connection to the kissonline.com, or is that you? You have the Gene Simmons website. Uh, I don't have any websites. They say Tony represents these websites, and Wayne's got all the trucks. Sure, Wayne's got trucks, this major truck parts. Uh, you, I guess you've built your truck collections since I talked to you last. Uh, we get to see one of them in the video, so. Yes. And uh, is that one of your prized ones? or? Yeah, that's my favorite one. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And where do you get to ride that out in L.A.? I mean, you just get to tear out into the into the desert somewhere? and you drive out to the desert. you got to drive a couple hours out of town. Really? Yeah. Really? Wow, you probably have to have two fuel tanks for that thing. Well, you put it on a trailer, and then you... Yeah, the trailer. there you go, on the trailer. But anyways, I was... But since I thought this was the latest release... <laughs> you can buy this one, too, if you like this yeah. one. That's, you can buy... I recommend... You, you can check them. out. I would say both can, of them. Check them out. You got to. They're, they're required. If you're a metalhead, you got to check it out. Hardcore, you name it. Grindage, it's all there. There's a, special, there's a special on that. Buy one, get the other one for the same price. How about that? You can't beat that. Now, I noticed on, on the Shadow Zone, though, you guys have uh, instilled more of a uh, a lot of more harmonies and whatnot. I mean, real strong as far as, you know, is that is that with uh, Tripp's influence, or was that you? Yeah, or? did all the harmony vocals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, he did. <laughs> and he got, uh, you guys got a... Uh, 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 Guitars coming out in your name. You got a Flying V Epiphone, yep. and I forget wow. what your brand is. BC Rich. BC Rich. Mm -hmm. Good, good brand. Now you got a lot, of, not a, ah, excuse me, a lot of the subtleties in the band now that used to uh, be predominant from the, uh, you know, the computer and whatnot. I see that he does a little more with the uh, sound and whatnot on the guitar um, to add into those kind of effects. Is that is that a derivative of, of a conscious effort or? Well, we just we decided to go a little more guitar heavy on on, on Shadow Zone as opposed to machine where where the guitar was more of an afterthought you know mm -hmm. um, but it was it, it was on both of our parts we decided to focus more on the guitars mm -hmm. and on so I just noticed that the harmonies were so strong on that I mean is that Thanks. all the guys or was that just you um, I think I did all that in the studio and then Tony's doing some of it when we do the song live and what were you talking about betrayal of self I'm just curious. Um, I don't know. Let me see. This <laughs> Larry. And you're uh, you, the Oakland Raiders? Yeah. Pittsburgh Steelers. 
Here we come, brother. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, it's going to be a good season, I think. <laughs> I just try to start some rivalry on the bus. Now, uh, now, as the new man over there, did you uh, fit right in with the unit? I mean, you uh, obviously had high recommendations and whatnot, Nick. But, uh, you know, it's kind of a different thing coming from Seether into Static X, wouldn't you say? A whole yeah. different animal. A real animal. I tell you, when it breaks down, it's just drums. It's just drums? It's just drums. We thought he was going to be a little too mellow for the band. Yeah, really playing all them uh, ballads and whatnot. He was probably falling asleep out on the road doing that. I've been in some pretty in some pretty heavy projects. That's yeah. that's where I belong. Were you here? Were you on the Shadow Zone? Oh no, Josh Free stepped in on yeah, this, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. You came in after. Uh, Nick's in the photos. He he joined. Uh... Yeah, I'm talking right yeah. now. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, sorry. He, he he joined uh, right after we finished the record. Oh really? So, yeah. Well, Josh Freese is a good man, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you got to do some uh, drum work on the new one, on the new tracks, or no, nah, no. Nah, sorry, I'm no, going nowhere no, with that, it. That is like a compilation of songs from the previous three albums, songs that didn't make it. On yeah, the I meant the couple new tracks that were on there. No, new, what? by new, he meant un, unreleased songs. Oh, that, unreleased. songs that were sorry. in the in the in library that we didn't release yet. Cool, cool, cool. So you like the Reed trip, or you're into Ayn Rand at least. Yeah, yeah. How did, you, how did you first get turned on to that uh, Arthur and her objectivism type philosophy? <laughs> Tony's going to sleep. <laughs> oh, it's actually nice. the band Rush was influenced by her writing the, 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 the album 2112. And they thanked her. That's what put the bug in my ear. And I did a little research. Like, I love Rush's lyrics so much that yeah, that sure. gave me the, uh, the motivation to read into it. I never ever read any Vonnegut. Oh, I got to check out Vonnegut. Slaughterhouse Five is a must read. But is that, is that Breakfast of Champions is that? Easy? That's Kurt Vonnegut as well. Oh, he's awesome, man. He's totally awesome. I know these guys don't read. But uh, so, how's things going out on the road? The response to the new material? And I'm trying to segue right along. They read magazines. <laughs> what do you guys read? No, we just look at the pictures. Yeah, we don't really read. Why, why read, you know? You don't have to, especially when you're as knowledgeable as Wayne. Look at that cranial. He's got a big, big brain up there. He just retains all the information. <laughs> but uh, so this just came on, and you have this. You're still touring to support this or both of them? Yeah, we're kind of touring on both of them right now. And, um, I mean, we just we put this out for the summer. We had the family picnic tour that we're, we're on right now. And um, so we thought it would be cool to have something out for the, the summer. And then uh, this fall we're going to go back and record a new studio record. Going in, starting from scratch, or yep. pretty much. Or, yep. Yeah, there you go. You guys are, you guys are good, 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 wrong, yeah, good song, right? Sorry, man. I need a drink. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> needs a drink. He's nervous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, but this new album, the fans on on the internet and fans we always talk to after the shows always talk about what about this song? All the rare songs. So it was something that's been in the works in the back of our heads for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, so, it's like, so it's a total for the fans, requested by the fans, for the fans, and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. There's even de demos of the earlier songs. So it's a little sample of the whole history of Static X. Really. Mm -hmm. So uh, how long are you going to be out on the road for? At least uh, another month, two months? Oh, we got a few more weeks on this. and then more yeah, weeks. First week of September, and then we go home. And you're just going to chill and start re-recording again, yep. all the way back to scratch. Well, uh, what video would you like us to play today? So, so or the only? Which one do you like better? Um, kiss. Lick it up. Lick it up! I, I didn't have to dig through my tapes I made when I was, like, 18 watching MTV oh. and shit. That's uh, not one of my favorites either. All right. Well, then, if you don't have that, then I guess you could settle for so. So? I wish you had one for Destroy All. Oh, that's just killer. I heard you you like really like playing that a lot. There's actually a, a live video for Destroy All in uh, the DVD that came with a DVD version of oh, Shadow okay. Zone. Yeah. So you could play that if you wanted to. Okay. You, could, you could make them get you the, uh, the DVD, DVD version, version of it. Yeah. I'll talk to, I'll yeah. talk to my peoples. And Destroy All, Push It, and Shadow Zone yeah. are on there. Oh, really? That would be awesome. I'm going to have to bust some chops at the label and say, get them here. I didn't even know you had the nude CD. I look like an ass. It's all up to you. Man. It's cool. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll try to get that. I, I like Destroy All, man. That's, but I was asking you, is that one of your favorite songs to play yeah. lately as far as new stuff? Yeah, absolutely. We, we've been opening the show with it, and uh, it's, it's a good opener. It's a fun song to play. It's real easy to play, you know. 
Okay. You don't have to think about it too much. Yeah. And your vocals just kind of roar with it, and as they always do. Well, we're going to go into a video right now. I'm not sure what I'm going to get to you, but I'm going to try to get Destroy All. I'd like to thank the guys for coming back on the show and then gracing us with their presence. It's a great honor, as always. Right now, let's kick it with some static acts. Yeah, yeah. Didn't mean to cool. <laughs> Shoo. Was this on camera? <laughs> right. It'll be on the website like the next couple of days. So. All right, cool. So uh, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a hip hop club now. Man. No, I don't think so. They closed it. It's called the something in the place next to it used to be uh, the Rosebud. I remember that. It's called the right, World right. now, and that's like the other. Yeah, concert. I think. I think. Um, <laughs> here, I'll stand over I, here. I don't think there's anywhere else we played except for the Metropole. Yeah. Is there a, that's, that's, like that's a, the only venue we've ever played yeah, in Pittsburgh. Yeah, it's like a hip -hop club. Except for the outdoor, the outdoor gig. Yes, correct. Right. Have you ever played anywhere else in Pittsburgh? Yes. Where? Nick's Fat Place. In the Hard Rock Cafe. No, Nick's Fat Place. Yeah, right down the road. And I interviewed you at the Hard Rock Cafe. Was it the Hard Rock? Mm-hmm. Remember that tiny ass squeeze? You think this club's yeah, tight? Yeah. You should go up there, man. Fits like forty people on the floor, and that's it. It's Where ridiculous. Fat place. Fix fat place. Well, no, they they hold a little more, but they like the cheesy local bands with the real generic blue collar sign. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, that's really rocking stuff. But no, I need you guys to show ID. All right. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> uh, you're watching the rock circus. Um, Where's the camera? <laughs> this is Trip. Nick. Sorry. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, this is Trip. Nick. Paul Stanley. The Demon. And you're watching this show right here, uh, Rock Circus. <laughs> On. Uh. Uh, on, on, on channel twenty-one. On TV. Sorry. Channel twenty-one. On TV. Stop putting me on the spot. You uh, sorry. Me the whole interview was set forward, and now you want me to say something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Well, you did the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah. That worked. That's 